Well, the largest electric drone in the U.S. received FAA authorization for commercial crop protection use nationwide. Get this. It's zero emission, highly automated. It's called the Pelican Spray Aircraft, and it's set to bring environmental and economic benefits to farmers immediately. CEO of PICA, Michael Norchu, joins us now for a further look. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. That is quite a piece of aircraft you have behind you, sir. I love how you're, you're coming to us from the hangar there this morning. Tell us about the Pelican Spray Aircraft. What sets it apart from other drones in agriculture? Yes, yeah, uh, well, thank you so much for having me. So main value propositions of the Pelican, it's the largest spray drone on the market by a significant margin by about a factor of three. Um, it's the only spray drone that actually looks like an aircraft or like an air tractor. Um, so it's not a multi-rotor. Um, it's really the only spray drone de designed for row crops and large acreage. Um, so other value propositions, the aircraft spray at night, um, significant drift reduction. And then obviously there's no human being in the aircraft. Um, so in the worst case, if anything was to go wrong, um, you know, no lives would be at danger. You know, you're coming to us from the East Bay of California in Oakland. Interesting place to be reporting on this when it comes to a drone like this. So <laughs> the operator is on the ground. That is a large piece of equipment, though. I mean, you don't want any mistakes. Talk about the benefits that this holds for farmers and neighboring ag communities. Yeah, great question. So in thinking about the product, really, the, the things we were trying to solve, one is cost. Um, so we are able to offer the, the equipment at a sort of lower all of, uh, you know, cost per acre than the existing solutions. Um, the second thing was, uh, you know, really focusing on drift reduction. There's a lot about the fundamental physics of the aircraft that allows us to reduce uh, the probability of off-target chemical drift. So the aircraft flies much slower than a, a normal aircraft. Um, and there's also a lot that we can do with the actual autonomy in order to minimize the probability of drift. That's, that's one of the things I'm most excited about uh, is, you know, actually getting the chemical 100% of the time um, on the crop as opposed to, you know, 5% of it floating away. Yeah, you want that on target application. I mean, you're talking about zero emission for the aircraft itself, but you get that drift damage and you're still talking about problems for our farmers and neighbors as well. So where in the world are your current customers located and what crops have you demonstrated success with so far? Yeah, our primary focus so far has been on markets in Central America and Latin America. Um, so Brazil and then the banana growing region of Central America. And then in terms of crops, we, we've sprayed, you know, all, all types of pesticides and had actually like very positive results with all. Um, but our main focus and main trial data is from bananas um, and then in corn in Brazil. Okay, so bananas and corn in Brazil, of course, they are our competitors, so we're happy you're working all the kinks out over there. <laughs> Tell us about the future yeah. of PICA. How can viewers learn more? Yeah, um, so we, we just received FAA approval to operate commercially here in the States, so we will start um, spooling up a domestic operation, which is really exciting. Um, mostly focused on uh, specialty crops at this point, and then over the next few years, we'll start expanding into corn and soy. Um, you can follow us on, on LinkedIn. You can check us out on the web, um, flypica.com. Um, yeah. Okay, I will ask you this. What are you most excited about? I mean, you're right there in the hub, very close to the Silicon Valley. What excites you the most about this air, the aerial aircraft that you have in front of you, or behind you, rather? Yeah, um, I mean, I've, I've been just deeply passionate about aviation for my entire life, so grew up building airplanes since I was a small kid. So this is, this is like every little thing about this is exciting to me. Um, you know, right now we're, we're strictly focused on agriculture. Um, we do have a cargo version of the aircraft as well. Um, but, you know, to be honest, the thing I'm most excited about is eventually hopping inside one of these airplanes and having it fly me around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're excited about what you're doing for our farmers. We thank you for your time. PICA CEO, Michael Norchu, really appreciate you.